Tiger's Cave, Chennai, India. Presented by Holidays on Shoestrings. While on our way to Mahablipuram from Chennai, India, we passed by Tiger's Cave, located on ECR Road, six kilometers before Mahablipuram, in a hamlet called Suluvan Kuppam. And obviously, out of curiosity, and assuming there would be some caves hidden between rocks, we stopped to look around. The tiger's caves are not actually caves, and tigers definitely don't live here. But it's a unique cave shrine, which is different in style from the other monuments of Mahabalipuro. Cut at a height of six feet from the ground level and closed on all three sides. There are stairs supported by lion parapets on either side to reach the high raised platform. Then there are two pilasters with a female rider on a rearing lion. This rock cut temple, carved like the mouth of a tiger, is not a cave as such, but more of rock art carved into standing rock. Having tiger head like shapes, but if you peer closely at tiger's cave from a distance, you will realize the cave in its entirety gives the appearance of a seated tiger or yali, a mythical creature seen in many South Indian temples, often sculpted, portrayed as part lion, part elephant and part horse and other similar shapes. This cave is believed to have been constructed between 7th and 8th century by the Pallavas, like all other similar monuments in Mahabalipuram. But if you look at it historically, the whole thing is shrouded in a deep mystery. Who carved these temples? Yes, some say the Pallavas. If so, it was definitely not meant to be a tiger's head. They would never carve a tiger as it was a symbol of the Cholas who were their rivals. Food for thought. Normally, the closer you approach a structure, the clearer the features become. But in this case, the further away you are, the better it is to identify the carvings and get an idea of the whole picture. The carved shapes of horses, elephants, tigers are amazing. Another rock which we found absolutely fascinating to observe stands at an almost impossible angle. Within the sprawling land of the tiger caves are the ruins of a small temple unearthed by the 2004 tsunami when some inscriptions on the tiger's cave led to it. The temple is in a dilapidated state but is quite mysterious. Dedicated to Shiva and beside it stands his mount Anandi. This newfound temple structure is significant as it solidifies some claim that more such structures exist around Mahabalipuram. If researchers are correct about its age, this would be one of the oldest temples in the state of Tamil Nadu. The main temple has a black Shiva Linga. Around the sanctum are carved the guardians or the Dwara Palikas. If you look carefully along the walls, there are small sculptures of Lord Shiva. A small bas relief, Mahisha Mardani, can be seen in front of the mandap with a carving of a deity on a tiger attacking demons. I think this is Goddess Durga. Many stories have been woven around these rocks and temples and some are absolutely fascinating. One such tale says that to have carved so many rock temples, the artists of the time must have had some device to melt the rocks. And to substantiate that, a rock close by is pointed at, called melagupare or candle rock, which has holes that look like it was poked with hot rods, some of them really deep. And legend states that the sculptor of the Nandi was challenged to slice the Nandi, which he did as if made of butter. Wow, sounds fantastic. Wonder how long it would take before someone comes up with the th theory of aliens. There are two stone inscriptions on either side of its entrance. They contain verses 
glorifying King Narasimha Pallava, believed to be the oldest Nagari inscriptions in Tamil Nadu. Located in a quiet, green and serene location, with the sea and the casuarinas in the backdrop, with lovely carvings that are hundreds of years old, make this place worth visiting and enjoying. Unfortunately, it attracts very few visitors when compared to Mahabalipur. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and tell your friends about it.